So the rangers came. Those people have been here for several months and it's only 14 day camping. I think they might be getting kicked out. That's the thing about overstaying. You kind of ruin it if you do that for others, so. But it's good that the rangers are there and they're handling it. Well, here comes the other ranger back. Oh, and there's a tow truck here. I guess they're getting towed today. Oh, yep, it's backing up to the white trailer. I wonder how they're going to actually do that. Looks way longer than the tow truck. Or maybe they're going to take it one at a time. So yeah, it looks like they're going to try to take the vehicle first and come back for the trailer. That's definitely unfortunate, but this is why they have rules in place. Car is on and the tow truck is leaving. I'm sure, they're going to come back for the trailer next. I see y'all over there. <laughs> Guess it's a big to do. People are out watching. Well, both rangers are leaving now as well. There goes the ranger again. Guess they're after someone. Or either they're going to go talk to the camp host. That's a possibility because the camp host is up that way. And that's my, that may be who called the rangers in. There is a camp post here that keeps watch of everything. Well, as y'all saw in the video, the car did get taken away. And the rangers, I had seen them coming in and out. We had been here about, like I'd say a week and a half. So we just have a couple more days left before we have to leave. But the rangers had been here several times and I don't think anybody's ever answered the door on that trailer so I don't know if they were just avoiding them or if they just weren't home at the time but anyways the ranger uh, made several attempts to try to contact the people um, knocking on the door visiting at different times of the day they came several times like I said and I guess uh, they never answered so that was their only option but, um, fortunately, I guess the owner found out somehow and he did come up and get his trailer. I don't know if it was a local 
that had just left his trailer here and was using this place as a storage unit. And that does happen from time to time. People will just drop off their trailers and leave them and uh, just leave them at camp spots. And I wouldn't suggest it because, you know, someone can break in. I mean, if you're leaving an unwatched trailer. Also, there is a sign that says, do not leave property unattended for over 24 hours. So they obviously do have problems with people just dropping off their trailers. Um, I guess it's definitely cheaper than buying a storage unit or storing it because that can get pretty pricey. So they just find places like this and drop it off and leave it. But they're playing a risky game with getting it towed away or, or someone breaking in and causing damage. So anyways, the guy picked up his rig and he fortunately didn't get it towed away. So he was very lucky and fortunate. I think that's my opinion on the subject is that he was fortunate he didn't get it towed away and then have to pay fines for that but he did get his car towed away so I'm sure he had to pay that uh, pay the fees to get it um, from the impound lot if you don't respect the rules and I know it's not always nomads that do it um, it is sometimes we, we call them weekenders and they just um, they like to go to their trailer the weekend, they'll leave their property like somewhere and that's not always smart. So in my opinion and the moral of the story is that we should try harder to find out what the rules are, read the signs that are posted because there are signs that are posted here and they tell you that there's camping one mile in so you cannot camp but people still camp and the rangers have to come through every couple of days and kick people out because they're not reading the signs the reason why they don't want you to camp in that area for a mile is because it's under restoration so i think it's a 250 fifty dollar fine but the rangers just usually warn the people but it's unfortunate because when people don't read signs or try to find what rules there are for that camping area, then it affects us all. And they can take away the camping because, as the sign says, love it or lose it, and they can close the camping area down, which would be unfortunate because a lot of people like to camp at Craggy Wash. It's a great area and it goes way back. It's beautiful. but. Most of these places set a 14-day limit because of the fact that so people can cycle through. Someone's not staying there for a whole year. You know, someone else can come in and use that spot. They give you 14 days and all I believe it is is that you have to be gone for 25 days and then you can come back. So as long as you move 25 miles away. And if we just follow these rules and regulations, then everything will be fine. But, you know, I'm not one to judge, and people are going to do what they're going to do. I know I do me, you do you. I just see it as unfortunate. And I, myself, will never get involved or go up to the people and tell them, because that is the job of the rangers. That's what they're hired for, is to make sure people follow rules. So that's what they're here for. I would never go up and approach anybody about breaking the rules or anything. That is not my job. I'm here to camp and not to tell people what to do. So I leave that to the rangers because that's what their job is. And I think they do a good job. They get an influx of people, so I know they can't always come. And there are multiple spots in Lake Havasu, so they have to keep an eye on all the spots. So they do come by every couple of days just to see what's going on. If y'all have any thoughts on the matter, please put it down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to think about it. But let's keep it clean, because remember, everybody's human. And the case might be that they just were unaware and that sometimes is what happens but it is a, kind of our responsibility to know the rules and regulations and to try to read signs if they're posted because signs can be very informative I always try to read signs just so I know what they expect of us when we're camping there well I've got to get dressed and ready because we are gonna go eat dinner at a local restaurant ah, it's a spider look how big that sucker is it's huge. It's probably like this big. It doesn't look like it from where you're standing, but it's pretty big. Okay, Terry's gonna catch him. 
What Scotty hates this? spiders. So Terry's gonna catch him and get him out of here. Okay. I need a stool. I'm gonna okay. stick. Quickly, there you go. You got him. My little guy. Um, is it like a baby tarantula? It, no. It looks like it's furry. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. You got him now. I'm glad he ain't in your bed. Oh, but, oh. But you know what I need? Here, I need just some... hold it, hold it. No, 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 because that... No, no it, Jeff's it's... taller. No. Okay, Jeff's taller. So, it's all fun and games until you... Don't let it get come bitten. out the back. Mm. There we go. Okay, let me Woo! see him. Let me see. There he is. Ooh. Big guy. He's hey, let him big. out. Let him go outside. Okay. Where Release. he belongs. Release the Kraken. Release yeah. him. Get him out of my rig. Oh my god, I was reaching up for that cabinet and I saw <laughs> it. I was like, ah! <laughs> no, no, no. No, he doesn't. No, no. Scott doesn't want to see the spider. Scott um, just put him far away. How in the heck did he even get in my rig? You left. Leave the doors open. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. If that thing was crawling on my face at journey. night, I'd have freaked out. <laughs> I'd have freaked out if it was crawling Scotty on my face. Scotty does not like spiders. I don't like spiders either. I mean, I don't hate them, but... Yeah, like, wait, climb on top of the mountain. He's not going to come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you can release him at the Palo Verde tree. <laughs> What are you, what are you all knocking? Look at it. Scotty's hiding. It was huge, just like this. And it was furry, like a tarantula. Ah, no spiders. I'm hiding. <laughs> all right, Jeff released them. I do not care for spiders, especially if they're furry. Furry. He just wanted to be free. Free. Well, he picked the wrong place to be free. Man, you gotta really hang on to your door. We are headed into town and we're gonna go have some dinner. Jeff is treating everybody. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Say hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Hola! This bumpy, this bumpy dang road. Oh, this truck is just, with no way, it's just as tight as it can get. We're going to Blondie's. Yeah, we've never been Blondie's. to Blondie's. It used to be, they used to have the best salad bar in town. Uh huh. And now it's gone. Now they do Taco Tuesdays. But the gal that worked there couldn't tell What's me tonight? if it was. No, today is Saturday. I know, but what is, oh, do they have any? Oh, no, I don't oh. know if they do. But the gal couldn't tell me if it was all you could eat Taco Tuesdays. Uh, or if it was just a one trip bar, she didn't know. I think maybe she was new when I called her. Okay. But it was great the first time we went there. I mean, it was completely awesome. The salad bar it's, was incredible. It was one of those restaurant bars where you get peanuts and everybody throws them on the ground. Oh, yeah, I like those kind <laughs> yeah. of Yeah. I don't places. know if it's like that now because I think that they've. The, um, the, new, the new owners, which also have a restaurant in Oregon. Yeah. They may have changed that all. Did you say Oregon? Oregon. Is Oregon. that like origami? Oregon. <laughs> Oregon. Well, and it was one of the few restaurants because we what did we have the truck for just two did we go there before we put the truck in the shop or after we got the truck back? I think it was before we put it in the shop, huh? Um I think we had uh, it must have been. Because I know we got the truck back and then the next day we're like yep. the camper's going on the truck. So we did it prior to giving him the truck to work on. I've never been, so I'm excited. Well, so that'll tell you that's been five years almost since we've been. Okay. Because we yeah. went after the. I'm truck sure got things the have changed. Yeah, because we went there after the camper got wrecked and we were staying in half. And didn't we all go there happened. one night too? And they were like, "Oh, the wait or some crap," yeah. and we're all like, "It was we way left. too long." Uh oh wow. Or was it that they weren't serving the salad bar? And we're like, "How?" Oh, no, no, no. It was a. It was and we went a to Gold Corral. Door. Oh, we did go to Corral. Was good. Oh yeah, that sucks that that closed yeah. down. I know, it's no longer was, here. I loved the well, gold, it was great like the American style buffet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Instead and of it, Asian. It was good because everybody could pick what they wanted, and it wasn't like you know, oh, we want Italian or oh, we want you know. Yeah, right. They had a little bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah, the secret we learned the first time was don't order a soda because the soda costs <laughs> one quarter of your whole meal. 
Wow, is it like dark? Look at oh my that God. over there, Oz. I know, the That's rain. Great. So we're here at Blondie's. Has a nice western motif. Ooh, look at the big old cow. <laughs> Cute. What is it? Oh, the, the oh, I love record. it. <laughs> That's so cute. Because we're in Texas. <laughs> People is, don't know that we're in I Texas. I love the big booth. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you sink in? Yeah, look. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. You need a what? A booster, a booster chair? <laughs> Holy cow. Look at the big <laughs> buffalo behind you. Oh, <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay time to order some food. Mmm, salad. Everybody on a dinner salad with their food. Gotta try to be healthy. Those are nice salads. They are. Food is here. Got the fettuccine alfredo, chicken fettuccine alfredo. Jeff got the, um, what is that? Chicken fried, chicken fried steak. steak. And what y'all get? The fish bake? Oh. Oh, fish and, fish and chips. chips. Fish and chips, yeah. Wow, that looks good. Oh, it smells awesome. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. We could have shared that. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it's big. For now, until we get back home, then it'll be like, oh, that's awesome. a lot of food. <laughs> <laughs> we might. Oh. Oh, time to dig in. Well, I ended up getting some dessert, and this is the chocolate covered brownie with ice cream and whipped cream. And look at what the heck is going on with my spoon. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> well, dinner was yummy, but I am full. Thanks, Jeff. You're welcome. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Inside the bar area. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see the big chicken? No. Oh, I see the big cow on the front. <laughs> yeah, but no, he's inside the... Let take that down so it's not glaring. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but see all the boots hanging out? Oh, yeah, right there on the edge of the roof. <laughs> oh, look at the little kid one. <laughs> Other baby boot. Yeah. Oh, I guess you used to baby sit out here in the parking lot and have oh, some yeah. drinks. Yeah. Back in the good old days when things mm -hmm. were worth living for. We are headed back to camp. You can tell the temperatures actually dropped. We came here to Lake Havasu because it was supposed to be warm, but there is a cold front coming in for I think like a few days. Is it a few days? Or yeah. It? Yeah. yeah. It'll be back in the 80s in a week. Right. In so. a week? Yeah. Oh no. It's, uh, yeah, it's like a week, so just can't escape the cold. I didn't want to go all the way back to Yuma. I think it's actually supposed to be in the 70s in Yuma. So it's nice here. Just the nighttime temperatures are getting a little colder, but the daytime's still warm. Yeah, it'll feel warm here. Yeah. Think, think about the property. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it'll feel warm here. Oh yeah, it's snowing on the property. <laughs> if I can find a clip, I will show you. <laughs> Too pieces, yeah, I need it. Won't you bend them all?